Hey everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you the pretty much the points of using the grid sliver and the grid list. Basically let's say you have exactly what you see here which is a grid and also a scroll of a list, in this case a list view dot builder. The thing is you don't want it to be like this where they both individually scroll but you actually want to scroll them along together. So if I did this you would actually scroll this as well along with it and the way that you do that is exactly by using the sliver grid plus the sliver list not by using a grid view dot counts and a list view dot builder separately so i'm going to turn this right here into what we actually want and i'm going to pretty much transform this into what we need but if that confuses you just go ahead and start from scratch and maybe that will help you understand it better I personally think this will help you understand better if I just take this structure and turn it into the one we actually want. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the expanded and flexible widgets because they're not going to be necessary. The second thing I'm going to do is instead of a column, we're actually going to use a custom scroll view. And the reason for that is because you use slivers instead of just children. Although, as you can tell, it's still a list of widgets, but this is the more indicated widget to use slivers on. So, custom scroll view is the way to go. If you try this with a column as a parent of the slivers, it won't work. But anyway, now let's turn this grid view dot count into a sliver grid. And this one is actually super simple. It's literally just changing the name to sliver grid. And this is literally it because it also uses a cross axis count and children. So that was super easy. Now this liver list is going to be a little bit trickier, but I'm just going to start by first changing this into a sliver child builder delegate. And you can also use a sliver child list delegate, but you know, the builder just lazy loads the elements of the list. And if it's a big list, it's just better to use a child builder delegate. The thing about this delegate is that it doesn't need this named property because it's actually a positional argument. And I'm going to delete this, even though we're pretty much going to have to add a very similar version of this, but for now, I'll just delete it. And right now, we're getting an error because it says the element type sliver child builder delegate can't be assigned to the list type widget. And the reason this is happening is because we need to wrap this with another widget called sliver list, which comes with the delegate property. And we're pretty much just going to go ahead and grab all of this, the, everything related to the sliver child builder delegate. And we're going to put it right here. And as you can see, we're now error free. And I'm going to hit save and it's going to probably crash the, yeah, exactly the list over here. And that's because you need to come over here to within the sliver child builder delegate. And as you can see, you know, this, this is the anonymous function right here. So the container ends over here, which means the function also ends here. So you come over here and you do child count, which is pretty much what we had before. And I think it was 15, not too important. I'm just going to use it as 15. You hit save and you don't see the list, but that's because this is a functionality that we want because now all we got to do is do, you know, you just scroll and it actually work. They're both together. You scroll along with both of them instead of them having different types of scroll and just in case you're confused about this let me do this again hit the save and okay this still works but the problem is actually you know it's uh, infinite and I don't want to crash my emulator so I'm just gonna chill for now so yeah you do need to add this just so there is a limit to the amount of children that you build from this widget right here or rather class so this is pretty much it. As you can see, it's not very hard to implement at all. You just need to use different widgets and different classes. That's pretty much it. And then you get exactly what you want, which is two different elements. In this case, a grid and a list to just scroll together. So I hope that this was what you were looking for. If it was, I hope it helped you. And if it did, please hit that like button right now. If you are a beginner, feel free to subscribe and that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Flutter Mentor and out.